when you drive through Decula, it looks a lot different than it did 20 years ago. You drive through neighborhoods, go to the schools, if you go to businesses, the likelihood is you're gonna run into somebody that doesn't look like you, that doesn't think like you, or act like you. As Hebron Church, are we using the gospel to leverage kingdom diversity in our community? What does it look like for the next generation to be raised in our country or even in our own community? Is race something that they think about? Is race something that plays into their daily lives? Or how do they think about people who are different from them? Check out Dustin and Benji's story as they share about life growing up. My name's Dustin Miller. I've been going to Hebron for probably three and a half years. I was born in Georgia, grew up in Texas, moved back to Georgia to pursue school and pursue a career. Really, I've pretty much always gone to white church where there are a lot of private school kids and it's been predominantly white. And my high school was white. What was a real culture shock was going to college and there were a lot of people from the United Arab Emirates, Indian people, that that was a big culture shock for me personally because I had never really been around them. But then I go there and I'm like, oh, there are a, a lot more races out there than black and white and they go through different struggles. It was eye-opening to just appreciate everything. I remember when I was little, people would always come up and want to touch my hair and then tell me it feels like sheep. People would talk to my mom, that's your son right there? And she, yeah, that's my son. Man, mixed babies are just so adorable and so cute. Or I'll be <laughs> standing with my mom in the grocery store and they'll, sir, I can get you over here. And I'm like, oh no, I'm with her. And they, oh. Uh, okay, all right. My mom said, yeah, my son's coming or whatnot. Okay, and then I show up and they're like, wait a minute. I've been confused for Puerto Rican, Dominican. People walk up, speak Spanish to me, which isn't racist per se. I've always been told like from my mom, don't look at color, just you are who you are. And to people don't know, like people won't know I'm mixed with black and white. You can explain to them and a lot of the times they learn from it. So your mom, does she talk to you about having an interracial relationship? She grew up in different times, and so when they first started dating and became married, they got all kinds of weird stares and whatnot, and people made comments. And Did they teach you anything as you were growing up about how people will look at you or anything like that? They would tell me they're going to look at you differently just based on me being brown. My name is Benji, Benjamin Lacorn. I go by Benji. I was born in New York. I moved down to Georgia when I was like three, almost four. Both my parents are from Central America. My dad is from Honduras and my mom is from El Salvador. They came here at a pretty young age. My dad was like 13 or 14 and my mom came at 17 and they've sort of like worked their way up here. My involvement at Hebron, I'd say is we've gone here, I think since like 2017, 2016. Um, I got baptized here by Flip Johnson. He was my high school coach for soccer. Is Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Do you commit to follow him for the rest of your life? Do people ever view you different because of your heritage, your past, your culture? I could, I would say yes, and I have been viewed differently based off of that. It's been a couple of times recently where like people will see me, they'll like know that I'm Hispanic, and they'll speak to me like sort of like a talking down to you sort of way. And then as soon as I say like, I'm a freshman at USC, University of Southern California. That's when I'm like on a level playing field when it comes to talking to them. I know what I am, like I know who I am, like worth, value, like what I can give. That doesn't mean that someone will view me like that. Like they'll already have their preconceived stereotypes of the person that I am. To assume that all Hispanics are Mexican, to assume that they came here illegally, to assume that they all play soccer, or to assume that a black person is good at sports or that they like certain foods or like or that Asians are this or that white or this. Like, I don't understand the reasoning or mentality why they think it's like okay to do these things or like say these things. But when, it, when I view someone, like view how they are, is based on like their content, like character, the way they act, the way that they speak, the way that they kind of live. So I wouldn't say that skin, to me at least, has any say in how I'll treat you. 
Our country is kind of at a crossroads in a, in a lot of ways. But what would be your hope for the church in the midst of that in our country? Um, I'd say that my hope for the church would be to make a stand, because there's always like the talk of God loves everyone and Jesus came to die for everyone. But I sometimes feel like it doesn't really feel like that sometimes in society based off like all the different conflicts and tensions and things that are going on. I just feel like we should do a better job of like spreading the love and the gospel, but also taking into account that while I may not understand something that someone from the black community might be going through, that doesn't mean that I can dismiss it just because I never experienced it. It's sort of like showing the empathy part. We all come from different backgrounds with different thoughts on any number of issues. What would your hope be for the church? That they just stand together on the common ground, that God is king and that we are all created in his image and, and that we just stand strong together and that no matter what color or whatever, we're all God's children and 